Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Blastoise EX tin. I bought this tin from the Pokemon Center online for $17.99. And this tin opening is part of my 25 EX tin opening series I'm currently doing on YouTube. You'll find a link to the playlist I've created for this series in the description of this video. So this tin is the final tin of the three from the EX Power Trio tins released back in October of 2014. Had pretty solid pulls out of the first two tins, the Venusaur and Charizard EX tins, so hopefully the third tin will be just as good. Four booster packs on the inside, plus the online TCG code card, and then of course the Blastoise EX. So there's the cover artwork. Same artwork as the other two tins on the sides and then on the back. So I'll open it up here, give a good close up of that Blastoise EX, and then get to the booster pack openings. So XY30 is the card number on Blastoise EX. Really a clean looking EX card overall. Here is the online TCG code card. Give away all the codes in all of my newest openings. And the four booster packs on the inside. Really like the variety in the Charizard one. We'll see if they're the same for this one. Looks to be a little bit different. Two Furious Fists, a Flash Fire, and then a Legendary Treasure. So we'll save Legendary Treasure for last, Flash Fire for third, and then open up the two Furious Fist packs first. And a lot of times, tins like this do differ by one pack. For example, the Charizard EX tin that I opened up last week had a Phantom Forces pack instead of one of the Furious Fist packs. Sometimes it depends on when the tin was released and then what part of the country you're in as well. So there's the online TCG code card. Card I'd like most from Furious Fist would be the Mega Lucario EX Secret Rare. So first pack in this tin starts with a Machop, there's a Golan, there is a Bellsprout, and as you can hear a few tins dropping on there, I don't know how clearly you can hear it, good thing it wasn't behind me. There's a Bellsprout, a Mianfu, a Clauncher, Gotharita, Fighting Stadium, Combuskin, Reverse Solo, of a Cub Chew, just a common rarity, and the rare here is a Pangoro, and that is a non-hollow. If my memory serves me correctly, it seems like that Pangoro is featured in one of the two theme decks from Furious Fist. Have reviewed every single theme deck released in the last six or seven years, I would say, on my YouTube channel. A great way for beginners to get into the TCG. It also unlocks that deck for the online game. More of a, a cheaper alternative to play the TCG. So second Furious Fist pack here starts off with a Clauncher. There's a Magmar. Pikachu, a lot of people are fans of Pikachu. There's a Clefairy. Torchic. Tool Retriever. Hitmontop. There's an Energy Switch. Reverse Hollow. Oh, there's a nice card right there. Rare Reverse Hollow Blaziken. I believe this card's normally a Hall Foil card. And then the actual rare in the pack is a Halucha, and that is a hollow card. So a very good pack overall. Two rares is always nice. Now I can do a summary at the end of this video to summarize my good pulls. So Mega Charizard Y cover artwork pack for Flashfire. Was able to pull that card in EX form in the Charizard EX tin that I opened up last week. Pretty happy with that tin overall. I would say it was my best tin that I've opened in this series so far. So the Flash Fire pack here starts off with Stunky. Next up, Scraggy. There is a Skrelp. Buizel. Fletchling. Luxio. Maractus. Nuzleaf. Couple of grass type Pokemon in a row. Reverse Hollow is a Skrelp. Second time I believe that card's in this pack. Yep. And then the rare in the pack is a Furret. So a pretty poor pack overall getting that common reverse hollow plus a rare non hollow but hopefully this legendary treasures pack will make up for it. Like to pull one of the two gold full art cards in this set. They're actually pretty valuable. They're worth about $30 a piece. 
pulled out Meloetta EX in the Charizard EX tin from my Legendary Treasures pack. Card trick here is you want to get into three groups of two and just go like so. And first card here is an Oshawott. Then there is a Mancino, followed by Swaddle, Magikarp, Pig Knight. There's a Bianca Trainer. Superior, first of two Radiant Collection cards. Curlia is the second. Here we have a Curum, that is a Holofoil. I always like that city skyline in the background there. And then the last card is a Rare non holo So another tin here that was pretty average overall, not anything amazing by any means, but solid overall with a Rare Reverse holo and two holo cards. I actually like this Blaziken best of the cards that I pulled in this tin just because I know it is a holo foil normally. And then the two holo cards that I pulled, Kirim and then Halucha. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.